Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical of balancing of inline engines. So the question says that it is a four cylinder oil engine. So cylinder 1, 2, 3 and 4 the planes are given right and the arrangement of the reciprocating masses so that is given the planes are given basically 1 2 3 4 and the stroke of piston is twice of the uh, twice the radius of crank so what is the stroke of engine from moving from one extreme end to another extreme end the distance moved by the piston is its stroke and this distance is actually equal to the twice of radius of crank so while moving the diameter like completing the half circle of crank is equal to the stroke so we have to find the reciprocating masses of cylinder 2 for this and the angular positions of the crank for all the cranks the relative angular positions now because the question is saying the relative angular positions so what we do we assume one angle to be zero and relative to that we can find all the other angles so we have assumed that theta 3 or the position at plane 3 is of crank at plane 3 is 0. Now we are already given the piston stroke. So piston stroke is equal to the diameter of crank. So the crank length or radius becomes R. Then we are also given the masses M1, M3 and M4 and these distances are also given. So we can find the value of M1, R1 in terms of R, M2, R2 and M3, R3. Now because this is an inline engine assembly or inline engine uh, system, so all the dimensions are same. That means the length of all the cranks will be same. The dimensions of all the cylinders will be same. Only the positions or the angular positions will vary from time to time. Right. So if we write the couple equations, it will be considering M2 as the reference plane. Because there are so many unknowns, so taking the couple uh, equation will make it a bit easier so that the one unknown will not be part of the equation while solving. So M1 R1 L1 cos theta 1 plus M3 R3 L3 cos theta 3 plus M4 R4 L4 cos theta 4. And we have taken theta 3 as 0 degree, right? So M1 R1 is 380 into R L1. Now see because this is the reference plane. So all the distances taken below this will be negative And all the distances taken above this will be taken as the positive. So while taking distance, this is the positive sign and this is the negative one, right? So it will be minus 1.3 into cos theta 1. Theta 1 is not known. Plus 590 which is M3 R into L is 2.8 into cos 0 degree because we have assumed this angle to be 0 degree. The question says the relative positions. So whenever it says relative position, we can consider any one angle as 0 degree. You can consider any one of them plus 480 into R into this distance which is 2.8 plus 1.3. So it is 4.1 cos theta 4. So this is the first equation that we get. Now, when we say that the system is statically balanced, that sorry, the primary balancing is there, that means the primary forces are balanced and primary couple is balanced. If primary couple is balanced, so its vertical and horizontal components should be balanced. So, first, what we have done, we have balanced the horizontal components. Now, we'll balance the vertical components, that is the sine factor. So, similarly, we can solve this equation for sine. Right, so this is sine theta 1, m1, r1, l1, sine theta 1, sine theta 3 becomes sine 0 degree, which is 0, and this is sine theta 4. So this is the second equation that we get. Now see, there are two equations and two unknowns, theta 1 and theta 4. Right, so when we square and add these two equations, we can get the value of, once we have found the value of theta 1, and there are two possible values, Right, you can choose any of the angles. Right, both the both the positions or both the angular conditions are possible. So, if we take 167.9 further, the answers will be different from here. And if you take 192.1, the answers will be different from here because the question is talking about the relative positions. So, I'm moving ahead with 167.9 degree. So, if theta 4 is 167.9. If I put it in this equation number 2 or maybe in equation number 
1 in whichever equation you want. So we can get the value of theta 1 which is 123.4 degree. Now because the system is primarily balanced so the primary forces should also be balanced. So which is summation of MR it should be equal to 0. So if the forces acting on the system are 0 their vertical and horizontal components should also be 0. So summation of MR sin theta is 0 and summation of MR cos theta is 0. So we know theta 1, theta 3, theta 4, M1, M3, M4. Only the unknown is M2 and theta 2. So there are two equations and two unknown values. So you place the values which is M1, R1, cos theta 1, M2, R2, cos theta 2 and so on. And for the sine factor and these are the equations that we get 3 and 4. 4. So one, once what we'll do, we'll square and add the equations and get the value of m2 and once we'll divide both the equations and get the value of 10 theta 2 which comes out to be minus 4.72 and we can find the angle which is 282 degree. Now please take care that whatever is the sign convention that we get for 10 theta 2 like whether the numerator is positive or negative or whether the denominator is positive or negative it helps us in finding that in which quadrant does the angle lies so in this case sine is negative and cos is positive so this is the fourth quadrant so we can easily find the value of the angle theta 